welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be recording a video for you. Uh, it's a pack with me video. I'm packing for five days in Southern California and I'm packing for two people in two personal item bags. And if you like this video, please subscribe. I uh, will also be having some other luggage reviews coming your way really soon. So subscribe to get notifications about those new videos. Okay, so here is everything that we are going to be packing. So I kind of have my husband's stuff set up over here and my stuff set up over here. So I'll go through all of these really quick here. All right, so first of all, I have some flip-flops, sunglasses, two laundry bags, they're just really small laundry bags, two eye masks in case it's not dark in our hotel, um, a compressed uh, backpack, just really small compressed backpack, uh, AirPods, a binder clip, some tissues. Um, come back over here. So he has six pairs of socks. He has five pairs of underwear, uh, swimming trunks. He has two pairs of shorts. And I think he had, I think there was five shirts here for him. All right. And then we have some toiletries. Um, this is my makeup bag. I just have some small items of makeup in here, some eyeshadow, uh, powder, some jewelry, and just some other basics. And then in that is going to be going my husband's toothbrush, my toothbrush, after I take it apart. I have a wet brush. This is a small travel wet brush that's going in there. And then this comb, which is collapsible. It's going in there. And my DIY mini deodorant. So that's everything that's going in there. And then the rest of our toiletries, these are the liquids bag. So I have everything we need in here. Uh, shampoo, conditioner, face washes, body wash, um, toothpaste, uh, a couple packets of sunscreen. And then I put like my body puff in there, razor, just everything that we need for showering in there. I have two pairs of earbuds with a splitter and an adapter uh, and that's just a case that they go in. This is my new cup holder. I'll show you how that works. Some sandals for myself. Uh, this is our kind of electronics cord bag and it also has a battery in there to charge our phones on the go. I have my crossbody purse. I have my little pill organizer with my vitamins. Uh, this bag I have Shakeology in here and also some oat powder, um, prebiotic powder, and some Pedialyte just in case I get dehydrated. I uh, also have a shaker ball in there so I can use that to shake up the shakes for my breakfasts. I have some medications like Advil um, and charcoal tablets and just a Burt's beeswax. I always need lots of those. Some more sunglasses. And then just to go through my clothes really quick, I have pajamas, I have five pairs of underwear, I have three pairs of socks, my hair turban, I have a workout outfit right here. Uh, this is actually what I'm going to be wearing on the plane. Being we're going to Southern California and Encinitas, I have to wear my Blink-182 shirt. So on the plane I have a sweatshirt, jeans, t-shirt, socks, and underwear. So I'll put that down because I won't be packing that. Uh, one pair of shorts, one pair of long jeans. I have one dress, a one extra bra, swimsuit, and shorts. And then I have six shirts and I have both of our bags. All right, so I just want to show you the features of these bags and the reason why I like these bags so much. So I'm going to do a quick measure so these are personal item bags. They are, you can see they're 17 inches tall exactly. Um, if you include the handle, it'll be a little bit longer than that. And then if we look at kind of the widest point for the depth, they are seven inches, but if you pack it a little full, like if this front pouch is kind of bulging, you could definitely get to the eight inches, which is the maximum. And then if we look at the size across. You can see it's just under 14. Uh, let me get that lined up again. Yeah, so just under 14 is so about 13 inches. So on Frontier, 
and other discount airlines. The maximum size is 18 by 14 by 8. Or these are the perfect size bags that I that I've been able to find for 18 by 14 by 8. All right, so for this trip, we are going for five days. Uh, like I said, Southern California. Um, we are going to be moving between hotels every single night. So we're not staying in any hotels more than one night. So the packing method that I'm deciding to use is kind of a KonMari method. I'm not going to say it's fully KonMari because it's probably not, but uh, it's somewhat based off of that method of packing. And the reason for that is because I don't want to be opening, uh, you know, open my suitcase and then have to open like three other packing cubes just to get to one day's worth of clothes. I want to be able to open my bag, see all of my clothes and be able to pick out what I need just quickly and easily because we are going to be living out of our suitcases the whole time. We're not going to be unpacking and repacking every day. So I wanted to show you kind of this packing method because it is different than any other kind of packing method video I've done before. All right, so I kind of moved some stuff around so you can get a better angle at what I'm doing. I'm just going to kind of move all my clothes out of the way because I'm going to be refolding all of these. Okay, so the first thing I want to do with my bag is fill up these slots if I can. So I'm, I like to take my sandals and put them in those slots. And I'll also take my sunglasses, put them in the slot, so it's pretty good. All right, so next I'm going to fold my clothes very specifically in a certain shape so I can line them all up like upwards, like this. So I'm going to start with the largest item, that's my jeans. So I want to make sure, first of all, that there's no wrinkles or weird edges on any of these when I fold them. So I'm going to take it and fold it in thirds and then fold that in half. And then I'm going to take it and put it in one side. Now it might not stay there very well until I have a bunch lined up. My next largest item is this dress. So I'm gonna take this and just, it's folded at the waist right now. I'm gonna fold that in. Then I'm gonna take the bottom here and kind of spread that out. Lay that down and I'll make this so it's pretty much even from top to bottom. And then I'll just fold this in Now I have, let me just test it here. Yeah, I need to fold it a little bit more. So I'm just gonna fold it like that. Now I'm not gonna put that in the bag yet because it will fall over. So I'm gonna wait until I kind of have a stack and then I'll put them in sideways. Now some of these, uh, my stack is kind of getting uneven, like you can see it's kind of bigger on this side and it's because the sleeves are over here. So I'm going to start alternating, I'm going to put that one upside down, just so it's a little more even. So I have the whole stack of shirts here and some are longer than others and I wanted them kind of all to be the same size but I know they're not going to be so I'm kind of gonna put them in order from like largest to smallest on the right. 
I'm not done folding yet, so I'm not going to put those in the bag yet. I'm just going to keep them stacked on the side first, or for now. And I just have like a uh, workout underwear and socks and bra, so I'm just going to kind of stack those there. All right, so let's see how this fits into the bag for now. So I'm just going to take this stack and then flip it on its side and put it in here. And I have quite a bit of room here left on the side, so I'm going to shove a couple things in there. So I have my swimsuit and shorts, swim shorts, they're already folded up. I'm going to put those there kind of on the bottom part. And then I'm going to put my uh, pajamas on top of that. So now, as you can see, it's pretty easy for me to go through my stuff. I can tell exactly what shirt is which one that's here. If I'm going to be working out, I just grab this little stack of stuff. If I just need this shirt, I just take that out. If I need my jeans, I just take those out. And then when I'm done with stuff, what I'm going to do is fold it back up nicely and put it on one side. So I'll probably end up putting it like on this left side. Um, that way I know what's been worn and I can kind of go through the list. Um, socks and underwear are kind of next. All right, so actually I decided what I'm gonna do is put my socks and underwear in this little bag here. Just so it's separated because like, I'll have some stuff in this bag that So fits in there nicely, compresses everything, so I'll just put that inside. Now the reason I do that is because I'm going to have some stuff in the top of the bag, like my uh, toiletries bag, that I might need to take out uh, when I'm going through security at the airport. And also I'll probably have some stuff in here that I might, might want to take out on the plane for like entertainment purposes or like snacks. So um, that way I just like when I take that stuff out, my underwear don't come spilling out all over security or the plane or whatever. All right, so this is just my uh, hair drying turban kind of thing. So I'm going to fold that up nicely. I just want it to fit like over this. There we go. And my bra, I'm just going to kind of shove along here by my pants. All right, so the rest of the stuff that I have is my electronics bag. Um, this cup holder will go in the front pouch. I have these little pills. I'll put those right in the bottom here in those slats. I have my shake mixes and other powders, my makeup bag, my vitamin organizer. My crossbody bag is going to go in the front of this bag, so I'm going to put that off to the side. And then I have my toiletry kit. The toiletries could go right here. That way I have access to them pretty easily. So um, I have TSA pre-check, but sometimes they make you take toiletries out of your bag anyway. So if they do, then they are in the front of my bag and I can take them out easily. So I think actually I'll move this hair turban thing. I'll put my makeup bag on this side. Well, maybe. It doesn't really want to fit. Okay. Alright. And <laughs> I'm running out of room. The good news is some of this stuff can go into my husband's bag because he has less stuff than I do and a lot of these things are like shared things that we both use. So it's not like I have to shove them all in my bag. Um, I just like to get, you know, most of my stuff in my bag so it doesn't feel like he's carrying around all of my stuff. Okay, that actually fits pretty nice. Um, I will be able to get this zipped shut. It won't be a problem. Alright, cool. There we go. So I'm going to put the electronics stuff in his bag. He'll have room for that. 
So the other things I like to keep in my bag is I keep this little binder clip in case uh, like I need to close some curtains in the hotel. I keep this little, this is just a small laundry bag. So when I use my uh, underwear or socks or anything that I know I'm not going to wear again, I'll shove it in this laundry bag just to get it out of the way. Because um, anything else is kind of like fair game as far as wearing it again, as long as it's not dirty or anything. And then these two eye masks, I'll shove in this zippered pouch here. All right, so let's close her up. There we go. So it wasn't even hard to close the zipper at all, even though I had this packed really full. And then I have this outside pocket. And when I'm going to board the airplane, that's where I'll keep my crossbody purse. Because this is my personal item. I cannot have my crossbody purse on my body as a personal item because they both count as a personal item. So you cannot have this outside. Um, I'll put this cup holder here. And there we go. Now I had this laying down and if you take a look, you can see that it's going to be nine inches. However, I'm able to shove this down. If you can see me, if I can do both things at once here. Um, but I'm able to shove that down. So I know I'll be able to get that into like the sizer at Frontier Airlines. Okay, so now on to the second bag, which is my husband's bag. All right, so his clothes are not folded real well yet. He just kind of piled them up. So I'm going to go ahead and fold everything really nice, just like I did with my clothes. Now for his bag, I didn't really fill in these slats just because he doesn't have a whole lot of small stuff to fill those in. grab all of these stack of shirts and again put them in there just like I did for mine. Now I have all this room on the side here. Then he's got his flip-flops so I'm just gonna put them inside of each other like that. I'm actually going to put these underneath these things or slide them in on the side and the bottoms aren't dirty on these so I'm not too worried about that. Perfect. So again just like my suitcase everything you can view everything he will know exactly where everything is he wants his jersey he just comes in and takes this jersey now he's not quite as uh, neat as I so I'm sure this suitcase will not look like this after he starts using it but that's on him so I'm fine with that so next uh, we just have our electronics bag so we can put that there okay and uh, I just have this collapsible backpack so I'll put that there and I'm sure we'll use that like once we're there we're going to probably be wearing our flip-flops like 90% of the time so um, we'll probably use this to put our tennis shoes in 
once we get there, just so we don't have to try to fit them anywhere else because they're not going to really fit anywhere else. And we can leave them in the car too. We'll have a rental car. So same thing for him. I have a laundry bag here that he can use to put dirty clothes in once he's done with it. So I'll just shove this kind of in the side here. Uh, let's see. So I have his sunglasses, his AirPods. So I'll just put these somewhere that I think they uh, will be a little bit protected. These I'll put in the front pouch so he has access to them. And our headphones and the splitter so we can listen to music together or watch a movie together on the plane. Put those in that little pouch. And I'll put this in the front so we have easy access to it. Um, tissues I'll put in the front so again we have access to it. And there's a little room here for like snacks or if he might need to throw a belt in here or something. Um, but yeah, so that's pretty much it. That's everything. All right, so a couple other things that I actually do want to bring that I did not fit in the bags yet. I do want to bring my paperback. Uh, it's just nice to have something to read when you're in the airport waiting for stuff and then also my iPad. I want to have that um, just so we have like we can use this to watch movies. Then I also have to bring my pillow. I bring this everywhere I go. I cannot sleep without it and I hate hotel pillows and also sometimes I use it just to like support my back when I'm on a flight because my back will start to hurt and I need something to support my back uh, so I use that. Now this I'm not too worried about. I think I could carry this on. Um, they're not going to consider this a personal item just because it's a pillow. So I'm not too worried about this, but my book and iPad, I think I'll put in my husband's bag into this front pouch. Cause he had a little bit more room in his front pouch here than I did. Mine was kind of already full with my crossbody bag and stuff. All right, perfect. So it's not too bulging. I'm not worried about it. I think it'll fit into the, like the personal item sizer, no problem. All right, so anyone who knows me knows I always recommend to bring uh, an empty water bottle to the airport just so you have a place. Once you get to the airport, you can fill up the water bottle. Usually airports have a water bottle filling station near the bathrooms uh, at a like water fountain. So you can go there, you can just get a drink or you can fill up your water bottle. So something that I bought and I have another review video where I talked about this too, but it is this water bottle carrier. I thought I'd put this on here to show you how this works. So basically it just goes around the handle of your luggage and Velcros together. And then on the front here is two water bottle holders. So I have my two water bottles, one for me and one for my husband that we can put right there. So it's pretty awesome. So then when I'm wheeling around the airport, I have a place to put those. And um, also in the back here is this little like little sleeve area where you can put other stuff. So I put my phone there. So this is everything that we're taking on a five day trip to Southern California. So we're only paying for basic airfare. We are not paying for any bags. Both of these are personal items and they are free on Frontier, Spirit, American Airlines, or any other place where the maximum size for personal item is 18 by 14 by eight. All right, well, thank you for watching. And if you enjoyed this video, um, please subscribe to my channel because I will be doing more pack with me videos as we go different places. Generally, I'm doing minimalistic packing videos. Um, I'm also gonna be reviewing some more luggage coming up. Thanks for watching, have a great day.